everyone, this is um, one into the four hundred guys today. We're gonna be reading Ephesians five and you know I should mention also the United Navy version. If you guys are not gonna be long, you guys can go to Bible.com or you guys can get on Bible. I don't really care how you guys are doing. But let's go and get started. Ephesians five and you know, I should mention the NIV version. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, as a fragrant as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed because there are these are improper for god's holy people nor should there be obscen obscenity foolish talk or coarse joking which are out of place but rather thanksgiving for of this you can be sure no immoral impure or greedy person should, such a person is an idolater as any inheritance in the kingdom of christ and of god let no one deceive you of empty words for because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Of those who are disobedient, therefore do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live, live as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the, the disobedient do in secret. But everything ex exposed by the light becomes vis visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. That is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debocracy. Instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another of psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God fa the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Instructions for Christian households. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, or which she is a savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands and everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church. The church and gave himself up for her, to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing of water through, through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church, without stain or wrinkle, or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. However, each one of you must also, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.